Welcome! This is Brenna from BlackBot. Today I'll provide an overview of security. You are viewing part two of a series. Security determines the features and tasks that users can access. It's important to maintain security because it protects your website, promotes consistency, and helps to prevent errors. Now let me show you how users who manage the program can target content and access rights for website users and roles. Many features throughout the program allow you to establish website user permissions on the targeting and security tab. This includes pages, parts, and email lists. The options on this tab allow you to grant rights for things such as view or edit access for one or more roles. For example, you want a formatted text and image parts content to only be visible to members in the event registrant role. On the Targeting and Security tab for the part, make sure that only the event registrant role has view access. More commonly, you will grant the everyone role view rights instead of a specific role so that all users can view the content. On the tab, include the additional roles you want to assign security for. Note, you can also assign security to individual users here. Select the rights for the role. If you only select View Rights, website users can only view the content on the page. For example, on a formatted text and images part, you can assign view rights to the provisional member's role so that only that group of users views the welcome information for your website. Users with rights to edit and delete content can help manage the website. For example, users with edit rights can update last year's golf tournament information with this year's information on an event registrant form part. Tread carefully with these rights. Typically, you do not want to grant these to roles for constituents and website users. Users with change security rights have view, edit, and delete rights. They can also change the rights on this tab. Given that, consider limiting this right to staff members with supervisor rights and use this right sparingly. Just remember, users who are defined by their role with rights on the Targeting and Security tab have access to your website. Users in roles with rights defined by task groups can manage your site and perform tasks such as editing a web page. That's all for this demonstration. Make sure you review the Users and Security Guide and the Help File for more information. Thanks for watching.